Nothing. There we go. This should starter should spin if it's any good. We'll hook it up. We got nothing. Let's see if I tap on it. Ah, kicked a little. See it? It's trying. Either it's all rusted and gummed up in there, or the brushes are shot. Let's take it apart and check it out. With the starter generator out of the golf cart, we can remove the two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the end cap on, remove the four rubber brush covers, and gently pull the end cap off. These brushes are completely worn out. You can see that one's fully extended and it doesn't even reach the armature on here. That's true of all three of these. And then this one here, there's nothing even there. And it's all gummed up and jammed up in there. So I'm going to have to order new brushes. I'll get that ordered and we'll get back at it. I went online and ordered these brush uh, brush set. There's four of them in here and took a few days to get it. They were just under nine dollars shipped so they're not expensive. They look like that and there's a warning on here and I wanted to give you a warning too that uh, this can be cancer causing um, their carbon and some people blow out the starter generator and all that carbon is loaded in there so you want to be real careful not to breathe that stuff. Now the first thing I'm going to do is remove the old brushes and these screws can be real sticky. I've got them all loosened and I put a little penetrating oil in there and it was a challenge to get them out so you want to be careful not to break them off uh, and I used a flathead and a Phillips head screwdriver. This is the one that's stuck, so we'll pull that out first. You can see that the end of the brush, the wire, goes on the back side here. So we put it back just the way we've taken it out. And on the back here is a spring. That's what pushes the brush against the armature, this part here. You can't move them out this way because the wire from the brush hits against the guide so they have to come out the back there we go I got that moved out of the way here's a new one and there is an indicator bar I don't know if you can see that a wear bar right there when they get there, you need to change them, and this one is right at that. And like I said, it was all jammed up in there. And you see how that, that groove is sloped towards me, away from this back side. That goes towards the spring. You don't want to put that in backwards. Just got to get the spring out of the way, like that. Slide the new one in like that. Release the spring and <laughs> you can see quite a bit of difference there. And that's working nice and smooth. Then this just comes around here and screws in. There's a little block washer on the end of that. That's all set. I'll do the other three and we'll move on from there. There we go. All in. All operating smooth. And we're ready to install 
the cap, the brushes back on the armature. Now before we do that, I want to set this aside, bring the starter generator back here, and I want to clean up this armature here and also inspect it. If it's real pitted and chewed up, your brushes are going to wear real fast. This one doesn't look bad at all, so I'm going to go ahead and clean it up with some 220 grit sandpaper. Just lightly hold that on there and turn it. And that's cleaned up beautifully. Also want to check the bearing. This bearing's nice and tight, smooth. I don't hear any scraping or hollowness, so that's in good shape. All right, we're ready to install. And if you try to install it like this, it's not going on because these brushes are going to hit the armature here. So what you need to do is push the brush out, take the spring and pull it back, push the brush out so that the brush is leaning, I mean the spring is leaning against the side of the brush, just like that. Do that to all four. Pull the spring out of the way. Push the brush out. Just like that. Spring out of the way. Push the brush out. And spring out of the way. Push the brush out. And now we can slide it on. And I'll show you here, after we slide it on, and it's all set in place, I'm just going to push the brush back in, and the spring will lock back on top of it, on each one. When reassembling this, there's a hole right here, and a hole right here, for the mounting bolts. And you want to line that up with the other end. There's the threaded hole there and a threaded hole down here. So you want to make sure you line that up. And slide it on. The brushes are out of the way. Now these rubber covers can snap back in. And you can see one edge is straight. And the other is rounded, just like this cap is rounded, and you got a straight edge here. So you want to put that back just the way it fits. What I'm going to do since I took this apart is just pull this out just a little bit. Because these are a little brittle, they're old, and then I can slide them in and then push it back together. There we go. All right, we're all in. Slide it through. What I like to do, especially in a situation like this, I've just got a threaded base here. You don't want to get them cross-threaded. So I like to back the threads off, go counterclockwise until I hear a click. And then you know the threads are lined up and you can tighten it down. There it is. Now I can tighten it down. I'll take the other one, clean it up, and slide it in. There it is. Beautiful. And now we just Tighten them down. This is a 10 millimeter socket. 
and I'm not tightening one side all at once. Slowly do it. Not too tight, this is aluminum. Don't want to bust it. Connect our wire back. Flat washer, lock washer, nut. Snug that down. Good. Put the boot back on. Good. And we can give it a test. All right, connect the battery and the positive lead to the battery. And we'll run a test here. This is the ground wire down here. As you can remember, this didn't run barely before, so. And she's firing with some power. So we're good to go, ready to install. Let's do it. Here we go, let's see what happens. If this video was a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online. Thank you!